welcome to my new youtube channel today we're going to be talking about the truth behind one of the biggest medical mistakes in recent history it is the women's health initiative or the whi study this study came out around 23 years ago now it dropped a huge bomb it scared doctors it scared women and now we know entire generations have been hurt by this we know what they said was wrong well some of it that the whi has been walking back some of this very quietly this is just not history is a story that is affecting your health or a loved one right now i'm gonna do a deep dive and well expose what they said the flaws and what we know now on july of 2002 there was a huge press conference it announces the whi findings the headlines are basically terrifying the old standard hormone therapy is now a huge villain you can see all the news that came out from that and they came out and said basically it increases the risk of heart disease, the risk of stroke, the risk of early death, the risk of breast cancer. They said that it increases the risk of breast cancer even knowing that result was not statistically significant. What does this translate to? Is that this result basically could have happened by chance alone, meaning they did not have enough of a difference to separate this from a finding that would happen by chance. This error in statistics can happen for two reasons, or there may be no difference, meaning it does not cause breast cancer, or they did not collect if not enough data to demonstrate the difference. So the thing we know is that it is a huge study. So I don't know, I'll leave that at that. They did publish the study anyways. I am gonna ramble here for a second because if I would have had this kind of results in research that I did in my medical school, um, my mentor would have crushed me, crushed my soul, crushed my family, so everybody involved in this, in this research because it is not statistically significant or they would make me repeat the study or change it to something that would be so I wouldn't be a total failure when I presented this to people. However, these people did manage to release the study, not just release it, but they had a huge press conference around it and they were published on the best and biggest medical journals that we know. I don't know. To me, that is kind of scary, but it is what it is. What else did they say? They said, that HRT did not have a meaningful effect on a woman's quality of life. And let me explain why this is so ridiculous. When they were designing the study, they figure out women would know if they were on hormones, they would feel it. So what happened? What did they do? They only included women with mild to moderate symptoms. What the WHI researchers later said was that the people with severe symptoms self-selected out because they wanted to receive that hormone treatment, which was a smart choice by all those women. The other thing is that the woman's average age for the study was age 63, meaning almost 10 years after the time for menopause. What does this mean? This means that probably those women were already having like no symptoms from this or they already had gone through the worst of it and so they concluded that this women had no improvement in symptoms they did not have from the beginning yes that is not a joke it sounds like it but it did lead to tragedy it led to tragedy from there the hrt use fell from 44 percent down to less than five percent and it has remained there for over two decades. Yes, as if that wasn't enough, six months later, the FDA piled on, if you're a baby boomer or a Gen X, Generation X, you are in this group, congratulations. Okay, so which generations are the most affected by this? Well, baby boomers go from 1946 to 1964, and they were the ones that came just after the average age group for the study. The average age was around 63 years old. They were born probably 1939 or somewhere around there. But 
the thing about baby boomers is that at least they got the chance to talk about this with their providers. Even some of them were able to get started on hormone therapy before everything was absolutely shut down. The Generation X was affected as well, and for them it was a little bit worse. So they go from 1965 to 1980s, and they were the first ones to face the long-term and lingering consequences of the WHI. Why? The Gen X had absolutely no chance. They had no discussion and minimal education on anything hormone related. They were just completely blinded to all of this. So here is where things get really interesting. Since the study was published, the WHI has quietly walked back a few things they initially said. So let's do a myth busting round. I love it about what they said. Myth number one. Hormone replacement therapy is bad for your health. They said HRT caused a 29% increase in heart disease. But the fact is a WHI reanalysis in 2021 found that HRT started early was linked to a 32% reduction in heart disease. So it was the exact opposite of what they initially said. Let's go to myth number two, HRT does not help with menopause symptoms. Then in 2003, they said HRT had no meaningful effect on a woman's quality of life. And we talked a little bit about this before, but the fact is now that HRT is the most effective treatment for hot flashes. Yes, the most. It decreases them by 75%. These are this is just incredible numbers. Myth number three, they said HRT nearly doubled the risk of dementia, but the fact is now the risk was only in women over 60 years old who already had cognitive issues. When they removed those women from the data, the risk was no longer, guess what, statistically significant. Let's go to myth number four. HRT is not a good option to prevent osteoporosis. Then, well, there was never a disagreement on this one, but it was never pushed as a good option to prevent osteoporosis. In fact, some of the lead researchers say that this should not be done, that you should not use hormone therapy to prevent osteoporosis. But the fact is now HRT reduces the risk of hip fractures by 30 to 50% and it's more effective than any other bone medication that exists. Myth number five, HRT has not shown to improve longevity. Then 2012, the original data did not show improved longevity. But the fact is now a study found a 20 to 40 percent reduction in overall mortality rates. All the original claims have been debunked. What does this all mean? It means that the story you've been told for decades is outdated, it's flawed, and in some cases it's just wrong. It is time to take back control and have an honest evidence-based conversation with your doctor, somebody who's trained on menopause and hormone replacement therapy. I'll leave here in the comment section all the doctors that are trailblazers on hormone therapy, how they found all of this mistakes, how are they trying to reverse it, and how they're trying to advocate for women and changes to improve all of these things that for 23 years have been wrong and they need to change. If you liked any of this or any of this is new for you, please hit the like button, subscribe, and read more of the information on the comments. I'll see you soon.